Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. All right, so we've got a scary situation last night in Chicago. For the second time in the game, Jose Abreu is hit by the first pitch, this time in the head. Now, La Russa sprints onto the field, tries to sprint on the field. A lot of people are giving La Russa shit this year, mostly for the way he handled the Yermin Mercedes situation and how he didn't stand up for his own player but took the side of the opposition. Well, here, Tony goes from 0 to 60, well, pretty slow, but he rushes onto the field after Abreu is hit to check on him. Well, he goes to push the catcher away. Who is checking on Abreu? Now he's going to go over and check on him. Well, well no, he's not going to go check on him. I'm just kind of playing around. Not really. But a lot of people are sending me this, asking me if it wasn't intentional, what's going on here? So apparently La Russa didn't think it was intentional either, but was upset at Perez for calling inside fastballs when his pitcher can't control it. Here's Tony after the game explaining. Well, I, I made it clear when I was out there that I knew it wasn't intentional. But, you know, I asked, you know, the ball was called in. And when, you know, that guy's really a good pitcher, but today his command was not there. And, and it's a scary situation. So I, that was why I was upset because you called the ball in and I got in his command and our guy got popped and uh, he stayed in the game. So we're thankful. So I agree it wasn't intentional. It's a close game, bases loaded. Abreu was hit twice, but to my knowledge, there isn't any bad blood between Abreu and the Indians or Guardians or whatever. And if there was, he probably isn't hit a second time in this situation. But I don't really agree with not calling inside fastballs anymore. It's a close game. What are we supposed to do? Just call middle away fastballs to a power hitter so we can lose the game? It's not like we have some young erratic pitcher on the mound that's shown that he has no control whatsoever. And to me, the bench is kind of clear because La Russa is aggressive towards Perez. If he just runs out and checks on Abreu, well, nothing probably happens. I think most players out there see that it wasn't intentional. So what are your thoughts on this? Was it handled properly? What would you have done if you were the manager or if you were a teammate of Abreu? Now, a lot of people are ripping on La Russa here and his um, sprint to the plate, saying that it looks more like he ate too much Taco Bell. Well, he's 76. I can barely run anymore, and I'm 36, so I'm not going to say anything about the run. But let me know what you think about the whole situation in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff, and we'll talk to you later. If you've enjoyed this video and want to learn more about building the elite swing, check out our new course. We have over two hours of content, almost 30 hitting drills. We break down the exact mechanics that you're going to want to implement into your swing. I've put the link in the description if you want to go check it out.